Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play E4, Common Sense, Imperial Italy. So, uh, last episode, not a whole lot happened. I'm a little worried that maybe the same will happen this episode, or at least I'm not planning on starting a war. Uh, although a war might start against me, as we can see, as soon as we unpause, the coalitions are moving again. And of course, we have a lot of um, alliances with different people that might decide to start a war and call us in, and that would be fine. We do have a little, be a little bit careful about Milan over here. They are in the coalition. I think I'm going to go ahead and unmothball the fort in Mantua. Um, no one to the south is in the coalition, right? No, so I'll have time to respond and unmothball these two. I mean, I suppose if I'm quick enough with the pause button, then I might be able to unmothball everything in time, but I'm going to hang tight for now. Uh, some people want military access. I don't see any reason to say no. Wow, that's not true. I could check to see who they're at war with and see that, but eh, what the hell. I don't know if, um, let's see, so they're at war with a couple of people. For example, they're at war with Milan. Did I take a relationship hit with Milan because I gave um, open borders to Venice? It doesn't look like I do. Um, plus, that means they get open borders with me too at the same time, so it's fine. So I don't like the fact that Milan does have a bigger army than I do. I am at my force limit right now. I can, of course, bump up my force limit by spending some of my um, some of my power points on province development. Although I think our force limit might get up to around twenty if once just the um, the various bits of local autonomy burn away. I'd rather not lose prestige actually, but that's fifty points. I guess we'll have to take that hit because like we've got our um, we've got our dynasty on the French throne. Plus, eventually, we're going to want to make a run for the Emperor title, and I'm pretty sure that Prestige acts as a modifier. It does. Legitimacy and Prestige acts as a modifier for who vote for whom. Um, so it would be nice to get more, but I think 50 points is just too hard to give up, unfortunately. Maybe later on we'll make some harder decisions about that, although honestly, I suspect that if we are going to become Emperor, it's going to be via vassalizing electors, and there's not really much else we can do about it. And that is a fair bit in the future, because we've got to get up there. It's going to be a bit of work to get in that direction, although we don't need a contiguous bit of land just to vassalize electors, right? We just need to be able to get into a war with them where we can negotiate a peace. So either they have to be the war leader and we're secondary party on the other side and we can negotiate before the primary party on our side pieces out or more likely is if we start a war with, um, excuse me, with um, one of their allies. So for example, I think Trier is one of the closest people to us. Um, that's Mainz. Trier's here. I guess either way is the same. Mines, I should say. So you're allied with Bavaria, Bohemia, and Wurzburg. So it might be possible. I mean, we don't we don't add, um, we don't border anything, which is too bad. I think at some point it would be really nice to take Verona, all the way up through Tyrol over here, and maybe even Augsburg, because um, a couple of reasons. One, Verona is a great coastal province, give us more sea power. Speaking of which, I'm sure I can build some more ships, and I can five more. One, two, three, whoops, four, and this is a short build time right there, so let's queue up a second one. Um, so that'll give us more naval force limit if we get uh, Verona, which is nice. Um, and then Tyrell's got the gold mines, of course, but it, what it allows me to do is sort of poke in here and have more neighbors that we might be able to create some um, some trouble with. Truce with Tuscany has ended. That wouldn't surprise me if they decide to join the coalition at this point then. Bunch of armies sitting around over here for some reason. Uh, I do have a free diplomat. I suppose I can put it to work. Just like various little suck-up duties. Wow. Are we allied? Because they are actually friendly towards me. Okay. The alliances are all wrong. That's really interesting because with an, a friendly status, that means they'd even join in offensive wars. France would join in offensive wars right now, which is great. But I'm still, I, I think it's still a good idea to let the manpower recharge. I know that over here things aren't fantastic. Um, whatever, we'll, we'll suck up a little bit to Pomerania. Again, just sort of trying to leave some options open for the future. May as well have the diplomats be busy. All right, let's go ahead and speed four, especially if we're just sitting here. And I, I think, you know, it's fine to do. There might be some opportunities to jump, but honestly, with the coalition as big as it is, what am I going to do? If I take land, it's just going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. What kind of aggressive expansion rating do we have over here? See, 52 is not, like, unbelievable. If we wait, you know, 10 years, half of it will go away. Truces, 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 okay. Technology. We're still... I don't want to spend the ahead-of-time penalty on the military. 
and we might actually be capped. I know I spent a little bit. I think we're going to do a little bit more military province development. Just a scooch to sink a few of these costs. And, I mean, ideally, I might want to focus this development where we don't have any, um, any autonomy. But, you know, the autonomy is not very high anywhere, and it's just more cost effective. I'm just putting it in the cheapest places with the assumption that, well, at some point it'll all even out. And I'm just going to try to stop us from, from capping out, I think, now. So we're going to have to wait uh, three years. I don't think at six per year we're gonna get what um, oh, 72 per year so three years yeah we're gonna be okay excellent okay speed five a little while maybe I'd be ready to respond right away if there's a war oh is Milan in a war Venice and the Knights god it's so tempting of course if I attack them then it'll trigger the coalition which isn't that big right now Bavaria Switzerland Genoa and Milan that's actually very manageable that is surprisingly manageable. And Switzerland, I actually have no... Oh, we're rivals. I was going to say, I have no particular desire to attack you. Could we maybe get rid of that? Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll spend a little bit on Bavaria. It would actually be nice if they weren't willing to join the coalition quite as readily. Although, it might be a little bit difficult to do that. If I had more money, I would also build more province improvements. Right now, um, I was saving up for Mercs. I guess at this point, I've got almost enough going on here that, like in terms of spare manpower, that I may not have to worry about my mercenary, like quick buy mercenaries. But we do have a coalition against us, I'm still a little nervous, we're not even at half our manpower yet. I mean, 8,000 in the context of these little nations is actually a fair amount in the bank, but I think we wait. Ooh, there we go, what's this? A Shadow Kingdom. Is this the Italy event? While the Kingdom of Italy is still formerly part of the Holy Roman Empire, it has many ways, in many ways turned into a shadow kingdom, with the Italian states acting independently of the Emperor. The failure of success of the Emperors to restore imperial authority in the region has left large areas under the control of states that outright reject imperial authority. By now, the question for many Italian states is why they should allow a German Emperor any authority over their land. Okay, so, this is the event we were, we were warned about right at the start of the game, in that if... All of northern Italy is not brought within the HRE before a certain year, well, 1490, and then kept there until, what, like 1550? Then Italy as a whole will leave the HRE. Now, I believe all of the AIs automatically leave. You can see Milan is no longer part of the HRE, for example. As a player, we get a choice. And I'm very tempted to stay in. We still sort of have that idea in the back of their head that we might make a run for the Emperor, and that'll be easier if we're in the Empire. It doesn't matter too, too much. But why not? We'll have Austria on the side. And now, what's great is that Milan over here, not being an HRE, makes them much, much uh, better as a target for us. So we can say the Empire doesn't concern us. We'd leave the HRE. We'd piss off Austria. Um, gain 35 prestige. Or our country is naturally part of the Empire. Lose 35 prestige. Austria will like us. They will also gain 5 Imperial Authority, which advances the HRE. I, I, I'm going to stay in it because we're still going to see if we might be able to make a run. If we might be able to go and vassalize some of the electors, get ourselves elected as the Emperor, then form Italy while still being the Emperor, which would should allow us to then put our provinces, put our capital back into the HRE, therefore being an, an Italy that is in the HRE. We're going to give it a run. It sucks that we're going to lose so much prestige. And, like, that would have been such a massively good prestige hit or um, boost over here. But we're going to give it a go. Boom. It'll piss off my immediate neighbors, but screw them. They're already going to hate me anyway. Um, military technology. No, we're going to wait on that. Okay. So, we are indeed part of the HRE. Oh! This is no longer a free city. Who are your allies? Genoa, Naples, and Savoy. Well, Naples is a little bit bigger and scarier. God, this is this is going to be good soon. How's the uh, rebellion status? 10%? Oh, 107 years. That is fine. I could probably kill my maintenance completely on my army over here then. Um, do, 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 do. We are making money. I could grab one of these, but I think saving the money is still good. And then just get the morale guy if we do go into war. We are above our limit for relationships. Yeah, but they're all good. Good and useful. Plus, we do have our diplomatic ideas now. Once we get to the second rank, we'll get an extra free relations, which will be nice. Um, do I want to do anything immediately? No, we still have the coalition. 
Aggressive expansion, I don't think will be quite as bad because I'm going to be taking land from people who are no longer in the HRE. So the HRE members won't care quite as much. I believe that's another modifier. I think like same culture, same religion. And, ooh, that's a lot of truces that are just expired. I expect more people to join the coalition. Um, same culture, same religion are big modifiers in favor of aggressive expansion. Like, they give you more aggressive expansion if you take land from that. So, like, if I were to take land from a Sunni right now, um, all these Catholics around here wouldn't really care quite so much. And I think the HRE has a modifier like that, too. So, I think we'll get less, but there's still going to be a lot of proximity, so it's still going to be a bit of an issue. So, mostly we have to wait for that to burn down, or burn away. Let our manpower go. Like, it all works out at the same time. Did I lose a claim on Verona? I think I'm going to want to keep that. Um, I was going to check something else, and I can't remember what it was. My mission! Make mains vote for us. Yeah. I don't think they're just going to. I think I should cancel that mission. Mines is this one. Um, relations. Large nation. Well, I've got large nation. I'm not as big. I don't have the rep. Oh yeah, I forgot that the Imperial Authority acts as a positive boost. Of course, as soon as Austria spends the Imperial Authority, they'll lose that. We know the culture group, the legitimacy, or the prestige. Well, our legitimacy... Oh no, it's not maxed out. I'm going to cancel that mission. We'll try something else. Monetary reforms. Loses stability to lose inflation or gain three inflation. Um, ooh, that's interesting. I didn't realize we could spend down our inflation. We should have done that already. I don't like the idea of losing well here's the way the math works actually it might actually be beneficial here because it's going to cost us about 100 stability yeah exactly 100 stability here it says 150 but if we do this and we drop down to zero it'll cost us 100 admin to get up to plus one again if we choose to do that whereas three inflation it's 75 admin to drop two inflation so this would be i don't know 120 130 something around there whatever um yeah, so this will actually be fewer points overall. Also, I don't have to bring my stability up to plus one. So I will do that. And plus, I got to remember, it is losing me the stability. Or, sorry, the, it is losing me the inflation, which is worth uh, another 37.5 points. So really, this is an this choice only costs me about 70 points if I decide to boost the stability, which I don't think I will. Let me keep myself above zero. But other than that, I don't think I have to worry quite as much. I do like being at plus one because it's relatively cheap to get there and there's some nice bonuses. Um, and if we were having more rebellion risk, then I might do that. But right now, everything is relatively stable. If we're going to a war as well. Oh, I lost an advisor. Um, you know what I'm going to grab? I'm going to grab the prestige guy because I think it would actually be quite nice. Plus, the points are good. I mean, again, we're ahead on military, so we may as well save a little bit of money somewhere. I like the relations. That's going to be a good idea. Plus, I do want to get more Diplo points to actually power my diplomatic ideas over here. This is one nice thing about not playing in multiplayer in this game, that we can just sit. Okay! I'm really surprised it took this long for one of my allies to start a war. The whole place has been at peace for, like, a while. France is defending against Burgundy? Burgundian Conquest of Champagne. Well, we're definitely going to accept this. Um, let me crank up my maintenance. Flanders. So, no one nearby. No, Tuscany. Tuscany. Well, one province might do something. Let us very quickly do this. Also, in Siena, apparently I never mothballed that fort. Let me unmothball everything temporarily, because I don't know exactly um, where Tuscany's troops are. Oh, Pisa is still Tuscany as well. Uh, we're not going to be able to separate piece out. Do we have... Hang on. Before I accept this... Oh, shoot. No, this is fine. Let me cancel one of my diplomats. Wait till he gets home. There we go. So before I get into war, let me f start fabricating a claim on Pisa. Okay. So, because you can't start fabricating a claim when you're at war with someone. Um... So now it is fabricating. It will continue to fabricate. I will have a claim on Pisa. I will try to occupy it. And if we get really lucky, France might separate Pisa out Tuscany and give me Pisa. Anyway, I'm going to accept because I don't want to lose the 25 prestige. Plus, this is a perfectly fine little war. So I'm now in the war. Oh, Pisa hasn't officially joined. Plus, I don't know where the troops are. Oh, they might not. They might not join at all. It looks like they have not. Which, I don't know, it's still allied with Burgundy. They just haven't honored the call. Maybe they actually didn't get called in in the first place. 
Okay, well, with that in mind, then, I am perfectly fine going around mothballing my forts again. I get, I would really, really like a way to mothball and especially unmothball in bulk. I would like a, a, a fort list. I mean, we might have... No, we don't have a fort list over here. Because especially once you get a big country, managing all this is going to be a huge pain in the ass. There's something in military? No. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start harassing Paradox, like, every day on Twitter. And being like, uh, I, I need a button for managing this stuff. I think we can all agree that would be really handy. Again, especially once the country grows. Bavaria left. We only had four countries in our coalition. I'm actually really... Okay, we did lose the claim on Verona. Let me go and cancel that and rebuild that. I don't know if we still have claims on Brescia. We do. I probably... St oh, there we, there we go. Everyone's going to leave. Of course, if I get caught fabricating, it will generate some more aggressive expansion. So I do have to be a little careful about that. I guess if I already have a claim on something of Milan, then I shouldn't stress too, too much. So, what are your allies? Ragusa, Provence, Aragon, and Tuscany. How many of them would actually join in? All of them. Right, and they're still, Switzerland is still a coalition member, and only Naples would join in because, of course, France is busy. Okay, so we're not declaring now. Although, once this war ends over here... See, if I'd started this first, France would have joined in, because they do love me. They've got the, the green heart, so they should join in my offensive wars, if they're not too busy. So, what I think I'm tempted to do is actually go and help France out a bit. Ooh, wow. France might just get its ass kicked. It looks like it's going to get its ass kicked all over the place. Hmm. Maybe I should just stay home and not get attritioned. And, you know, not lose a little bit of manpower here and there. Wow, they're doing a bad job. They're doing a very bad job. They're building up a bit of an army now. If I just attach myself to one of their armies, hopefully they won't be too stupid. I'm going to try that. They'll have a decent general over here too, although France will probably have better generals. Wait, is Austria in on this war? Are France and Austria allies? They are. Oh, that is... Okay, so this is going to be a winning war, which is good. Tell you what, I'm just going to go and sit in uh, Bourgogne over here. In Burgundy proper, their capital. I'm going to siege out their capital. Of course, we'll get some attrition. They might come in and try to dislodge me. Hopefully, reinforcements will come if that sort of thing happens. But yeah, see, they're losing their sieges and stuff because we've got adjacency with forts and yada, yada, yada. Did we start at 0% right away? When we do have a lot of cannons, and that's right, I do have a 4 siege leader, which is stupendously good. This, four, this siege is going to happen real fast, and then Burgundy is going to have their capital down, which is going to be a massive amount of war enthusiasm lost. I'm pretty confident. It'd be nice if we could squish that guy, but I'm, I'm just going to sit in here. A little bit of attrition. Costs us a little bit of manpower, but it's not like we don't have any. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take the military tech. It's only 5% ahead, which isn't bad. And gave us some pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff indeed. All right, walls are breached. We could actually go and do an assault right now, but I don't like the, the stats too much. Plus, the fact that walls are breached gives us a bonus to our siege, which has already come along really well. We're just going to take advantage of the fact that we have unbelievably good siege modifiers to just break this down right away. Look at all the forts they've built. Again, I like the defensive idea of having a lot of forts, but again, I need I need a bulk like mothball on mothball for forts. Yeah. It would be hugely convenient. Also, I don't remember when these videos are going out. Very soon, you'll see uh, in our multiplayer game that um, it would have been very, very handy to have a quicker way to unmothball all kinds of forts. Mm -hmm. Do do do. I mean, your your garrison still won't kick up, but it'll be better than nothing. Um, oh, mission. Prove relations of Papal State, that seems unlikely, become Papal Controller. I don't really have control over that. I would, I'll take the mission to improve our prestige. I mean, negative prestige is pretty bad right now. That's because we took the minus 35. It'd be nice to get the extra stability. We'll, we'll keep it around for now. If we do get into some wars and stuff, we'll certainly get some prestige. Who are my rivals? 
Venice, Tuscany, Milan. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to take this territory over here relatively soon. Get a nice big jump in power projection. I mean, I still get the plus one leader without upkeep right now, but we might be able to get up to plus to over 50, at least for a little while, if we grab a couple of provinces on Milan. And then we get plus one dollar power points, which is pretty substantial. What's your military tech? Eight. And what did I just bump mine up to? Eight. Oh, so we're just, we're only equal. All right. That siege will go pretty soon. Let's go up to speed three. There it is. Hit the wrong button. France is sieging there as well. Paris is going to fall, but I think we're doing a lot more damage. Excellent. Um, I don't want to flip this occupation over to France. Well, okay, they don't have claims on it. Just because I sort of don't want France to be able to just take really valuable land. And they won't be able to if I don't uh, transfer the occupation. All right, I'm just going to go to Luxembourg. Just siege out some more. I'm not going to try to push the fight. We, again, we should be able to siege out a lot faster than they do. Uh, Austria is going to siege that. All right, then. Oh, Fort Pathing. Now go there, and then I should be able to move. Oh, I really can't, really? With the forts? If I do this, will I be safe, or will I get jumped on? I think I'll be safe. And this is a wooded area. There you go. Okay, they're not going to jump on me here. And once I'm in a wooded area, they'll get a minus one. They might get more than that from a river crossing. Plus, we've got potential reinforcements nearby. Yeah, we're going to siege up Burgundy incredibly fast. They've already lost some of their war enthusiasm. We lost our CB against Venice. Because Venice no longer... Uh, well, no, it still has Dalmatia. Okay, Milan has to be stopped. Tell you what, I will fabricate another claim on Milan as a backup. A backup claim. Uh, actually, like, Venice would be good, because I don't know... If we take, take a look at Brescia, when does this expire? Uh, we got 13 years. Okay, never mind, we're fine. Because the worst thing is if it expires, like, right when we're ready to go to war. Which, I probably will go to war as soon as I'm done this over here. Hopefully, France won't be too far in debt or anything. Um, oh, there we go. Plus one diplomats. It's about time. Milan left the coalition. Ooh, some rebels over there. I wonder if we might be able to make friends with Aragon. That would be interesting. They don't hate us that much. Let, let's get to work on that. Um, Naples likes me quite a bit as well. We're actually allied. Let me go and max that out as well. Just keep that there. Eventually, we'll have to go for Naples, but for now, it's really nice to have that friend right there. Gain the CB against Tuscany. Very good. That's going to be another really good war to trigger. More coalition leaving. Excellent. I think that's it. I think Switzerland was like the only person left in the coalition, and a coalition of one is not much of a coalition. Fender's dessert. Good. If we were to take a look at Tuscany right now, Oh, now see, I like this war. Tuscany and Milan versus me. Only Savoy on the other side, which is too bad. Find another war together. If I can get Naples into this, that'd be nice. They just have to pay off some of their debt. And they're not currently in a war? No, so that should get better. Okay, maybe I, I won't jump on them. I will go ahead and see if I, we might be able to get lucky and finish this off and have France come in. Depends on how much debt and exhaustion they'll have, of course. Speaking of uh, war weariness, no, I'm good. Hang around in Burgundy, but not really do much. We got a lot of those pop-ups as they keep walking through there. They're splitting up. You're going to Cambrai. I mean, nicely isolated. We might be able to jump on you. Ooh. Oh, I want to finish the siege first. I think France is thinking the same thing right over here. Because we could crush that. It doesn't look like France is willing to do it. Oh, they are going. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll just finish my siege. Won the siege of Rethel. Excellent. I don't need to jump in there. Let me start sieging Badois then. I'll be close to the action. If something else comes up. If they keep reinforcing. But they won't. And I'm hoping France does not siege this particular province here. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna win all these, right? <laughs> like, I guess these are like continuous like new skirmishes. 
Tell you what, let me go. It was 14% siege progress, but that was actually like what I get for free, basically. So we're not really giving up anything. They're a little low on morale, so I was like, let's let's kick in a wee bit more. We still don't have a ton of morale, but we have a massive numbers advantage. Also, they have a river crossing, which is nice. There we go. I just It would have sucked. That army could have lost with a couple of bad rolls because it started with so little morale. There we go. Siege up uh, Badois. We did lose 5,000 men, which is too bad. Actually, we've lost quite a few more than that just because of uh, attrition, which does hurt. Okay, we've got positive war score. The exhaustion in Burgundy is growing, which is good. I only have 1.09, definitely not worth dropping. We are losing money right now because of maintenance. Or reinforcements is what I meant to say. Uh, we do have our forts on. Um, oh, yeah, definitely spare no expense. Half a point of inflation is definitely worthwhile. So, Milan does have claims on me. suppose they might decide to just suddenly attack me. Let me go and unmothball men to a... Ferreira is mothballed, but it's my capital, so it always has like a mini fort. So it just can't be insta-occupied, and I'll consider that to be good enough for now. Where did the big French army go? Oh, okay, it did jump in there. I didn't see it at first. Um, they should be okay. Well, if this Austrian army jumps in, I might want to... Sure. Oh! Oh, damn it. I waited too long, we still had to have to move. So I think they broke like shortly after I started my move. So that reset that siege. That makes me really sad. But winning the battles is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And we've got ticking war score because they don't have champagne, which is right over here. France is going to de-siege Paris, which is a pretty good idea. That's going to get unsieged in a second here, just because there's no actual fort. Hungary is fabricating a claim on Ancona. Really hungry. Wow, it's pretty shitty. And yeah, they want my provinces. I wonder if it might be worth building a castle here. Because, actually, there are no castles anywhere adjacent here. Yeah, fort level zero, zero, zero. It really would be worthwhile. Oh, I need 20 development before I can build something else. I've got barracks and a marketplace already. Because um, in the future, I'm going to go out and grab this. So I think that would actually be really, really good. So, I guess I'm going to spend the points to bring my development level up to 15, or up to 20. Costs quite a few. I'll mostly spend a little extra military, and there we go. I am losing money, so I'll of course have to take a loan out. There we go. I think that's going to be a smashing idea. To get that going. Okay, we won that siege. Lovely. Um, let's go to Luxembourg. The provinces without forts aren't worth much in the way of war score. So it's not a huge deal that we lost that. It's relatively irrelevant. God, that siege progress is so nice to have such a great siege guy. And we got the full five bonus from our artillery as well. Uh, you're roaming around. You might jump on the French army since it's not at full morale. We'd still have a numbers advantage. No, you're just going to hang out in Burgundy? That's not a bad idea. I'm hoping that after France retakes Charolais over here, that's what it is? Yeah, they just go and try to stomp that army, in which case we'll probably have to help. Okay, they're just going to spread around. Wow, such a fast siege. Let's come over here to Namur. I don't know if that's, you know, I say I say things with a sort of defaulty Frenchy kind of accent here. Um, and I don't know if that's, you know, legit or not, but that's the way it's going to be. Namer. Reminds me of, um, the, the Aqua Dude from, uh, is that the DC one or the Marvel one? I don't remember. I think that's the Marvel one. The Marvel one. Ah, I can't, I can never remember. They're, they're too much the same. All right, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, fun little war. Not going to do anything for me other than cost me all my freaking manpower. You know what? I've done enough. Let's come home. Um, all that attrition is not good for me. Uh, it sucks that we have to have much bigger stacks now. I suppose I could have just had a nine stack going around and doing it, but I felt safer this way. Thank you for watching another episode of our EU4 Let's Play of Imperial Italy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.